This guy came up with an economic theory a hundred years ago that could not only save the Avengers, but our world as well. And guess what? No graphs or math needed. Welcome fellow comicists. My name is Greg, where learning economics is as easy as watching a movie. So this guy is Arthur Pigou, and he was an English economist who came up with an idea a hundred years ago about a particular tax. He was living in London at the time. And the problem was this was during the Industrial Revolution and London streets were totally disgusting and the air was gross. And the problem was economists at the time did not advocate for a lot of interference. It was a lot of laissez-faire economics. So basically, if somebody didn't like the fact that these companies were spewing out all this pollution, that a competitor would come around who would provide a better product that was cleaner and consumers would go to that. It wasn't the government's job to interfere. Pagu went against this type of laissez-faire type of economic thinking and came up with what is called the Paguvian tax. I know, it's not a very creative title. The Paguvian tax said that an entity, whether that is a government or an individual or a company who creates some sort of detriment to that society needs to be taxed based on the damage that is caused. So let's use the Avengers as an example of this. The Avengers have been known to cause a lot of destruction, such as this or this. Or this. Or even this. And in Captain America Civil War, the world's response was to create a law to just control them, be able to delegate where they need to go. And while Tony Stark was very much in favor of this, knowing that, you know, they do cause a lot of destruction, Captain America was not in favor of it because, in his words, What if this panel sends us somewhere we don't think we should go? What if there's somewhere we need to go and they don't let us? We may not be perfect, but the safest hands are still our own. And this disagreement led to the falling out of the Avengers. But what if the world took a different approach? Instead of imposing control over the Avengers, direct control, what if they imposed a worldwide Paguvian tax on them? So let's see how that would work. So let's say the Avengers are in a big battle with a bad guy, right? And let's say they end up destroying uh, a building. Now the country that this battle took place in would look at this destroyed building and they would figure out a few different costs. Namely, the cost of construction for the building, the type of repairs that are going to be needed around the building, the medical costs for anybody who has been hurt during the battle and after the battle, all of the wages that are lost because workers can no longer work in that building, and if it's a residential building, what the cost is for all of the displaced people to give them housing. They would add all these costs up and then they would provide basically a bill to the adventurers, a tax, saying, look, your actions caused this issue and now you need to pay for it because after all, you were the cause of it. So how would this actually help the world at the end? Well, number one, it would actually be something the Avengers would agree to because now they don't have that same constraint, right? They still have control over what they do. However, they wouldn't have an incentive to actually destroy all these buildings. They would have more of an incentive to take their fighting someplace that isn't as destructive. Because after all, Tony Stark, while he is a billionaire, doesn't have an unlimited amount of money. So this type of tax would be incredibly useful to keep the Avengers together, allow them to have their type of autonomy that they would really want, but also caution them from doing any sort of negative action. As you can tell, this channel simplifies and demystifies the economy for you, where we don't involve complicated math and complicated graphs. And if you want to check out my last video that was all about consumer choice theory, click right up here to check that out. And I will see you in the next video.